Hey, what's going on? It's Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and Vectric version 12 has come out and they've got this new toolpath called a sketch carve toolpath. Now, I don't know if this toolpath is going to work, but I'm going to give it a try right here. So to lead this off with this toolpath called sketch carving toolpath, I was watching one of Kyle Ely's video. Uh, if you don't know who Kyle Ely is, he's the one that has the Vectric training course. So if you're brand new to Vectric and you really want some guidance, you might want to check out his course at Learn Your CNC. I'll link it down below in the description, but I got to try this thing out because I'm not, I just don't trust it. I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to walk through the process that he walked me through using something called Microsoft Copilot to create a, a drawing, which you'll find really cool. We're going to put it into the Vectric V12 software. I'm going to use this this sketch carving toolpath, and then we're gonna run it out on the CNC router because I am super skeptical about this. So let's get into the version 12 software. So you can see right off the bat that version 12 looks really, really different than the version 11.5 or anything before version 12. So I'm not gonna dive into that, but I really like this new layout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, what we call Microsoft Copilot. And this is, I didn't even realize Copilot could do this. But when I saw Kyle do it, then I thought, oh, we can do this. So wh what Microsoft Copilot is, it's a free software or free, it's free to you. All you need is a Microsoft account and you don't need software, you don't have to buy it, it's, it you just use it. So what you do in this, uh, Copilot, you can write in a description. So for this, we have to say, draw a clip art image, and then we're going to select something of a kid driving a go kart. And I'm doing that because I took my kids, my grandkids, riding uh, driving with a go kart this weekend, and I'm going to tell to make it black and white. Okay, so. Here it goes. Microsoft Copilot is now starting to do some thinking. It's copied my thing and it's not going, there it goes. It says, I'll try to create that. So now it's going to start doing some work and this is where it gets really cool. This really wicked design that, that is mesmerizing as it's doing the AI stuff to draw this drawing. All right, there we go. So it has just generated this image super fast which is so cool so let's just select this one this looks like the freshest big boy if it comes up and my connection must be going a little bit slow there we go and so we got a kid driving a go-kart black and white i'm going to download this image and we're going to bring it into the vectric software so here's how we can do this simply go into the vectric software we're going to go to the download directory that that came in at, and there is the kid, and we're going to drag it over into the Vectric software, and then I'm going to place it over the image. Now, I've got to make sure my project size is right, so this is going to be 12 by 12, so tab 12 by 12, and 0.75. We're not carving through, so the depth doesn't matter as long as i got enough depth here. We're going to use the lower left corner. We'll use the upper left corner to position our project. And then we're going to switch over to material set of values have changed. Uh, we're going to switch over to the, the tool path. So I have a profile tool path in here. I'm going to just delete that because I don't know what that's going to. Uh, just farting around with the software. So I'm going to move this image of the kid to the middle. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, click it. We'll go use our centering tool right there. The image is centered. And it looks like it's got some boundary to it there, like kind of cut off at the top. It's cut off the wheel a little bit. Now, we're going to switch over to that. We're going to go straight into this V carving, uh, sketch carving tool path. I'm going to select that. And so now you see all these green lines have popped up. So these green lines are what the Vectric software is actually supposed to create a tool path on. So there's a lot of stuff there. And I'm, first I'm going to set up my router bit. So uh, up top it says bitmap. So let's start with that bitmap. And then start depth is zero, flat depth. Um, I'm going to have created flat depth of 0.1. So it's just like a regular V-carve where you have a flat depth. I don't think I'll need it here. We'll make it a 0.2. 
And the only reason is I don't know how deep it's going to go in this. This is a V-carving tool path. And so we've got the 60 degree quarter inch bit. Now that's the IDC Woodcraft Ultra Smooth Cutting 60 degree V-bit. It's a bladed V-bit that cuts super smooth in, in these type of V-carvings. Now, okay, so let's get in this image here. You see all this green there that is drawn. Vectric has drawn this and that's actually where it's going to create a tool path. But what I see that I don't like is this green line around the outside. So I'm going to suspect that it's going to create a tool path on that as well. But I'm going to let it rock and roll with that. Now we got this uh, this this parameters thing. So we can drop that down. This little slide bar. We can drop that down to 17 and I see my lines starting to get thinner, the green lines. And if I make it really high, really thick, then the green lines get really heavy. I don't want that. I'm going to go with a finer detail and we're going to rock and roll with that. We're just simply going to calculate this. We're going to call it the go-kart. Go-kart. And I'm using the 60V and calculate. So this is going through quite a bit of calculation. Oh, look at that. So we've got a tool path. The tool path is the kid driving the go-kart. Let's see what it looks like, how it uh, generates the uh, preview on this tool path. And so it's carving it. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. I don't imagine this is going to take a little while. We're going to run with it. We're just going to rock and roll with the tool path that it created. And so I'm going to close that. I want to see what kind of time is expected to take. So it's saying about 17 minutes it's going to run this out. So we're just going to rock and roll with that. We've set up the right router bit. I'm going to save the tool path and I'm going to set my project up. So let's just save this up real quick. Uh, going to close that. We're going to oh, look at these icons are so different. I'm going to save the tool path and we're using the right the right post processor. I'm going to save the tool path to my downloads directory. It's called GoCart60. Save the tool path. And that's done. We're going to go into G Sender and I'm simply going to load that. So hit that, load that up. And G Sender is loaded up. There's the tool path. So now we just simply got to just um, set up the project. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a different technique for holding the project down. I'm going to screw it down. There's so many different ways to hold a CNC project, but screws by far is the most secure. Screws or nails. So I've secured that corner down. I'm going to secure this corner down. And I'm going to set my XYZ and we're just going to start this program and see what happens. All right, I've got everything bolted down. I got my zero set up. Uh, we're just going to hit go. I'm going to fast forward this part of the video and then we're going to spray paint it to catch or capture the black. Let's do this. So, this thing looks like it's actually carving this project and Vectric tends to be a little inefficient in setting up its tool paths however this seems to be more efficient than what I normally see in their v-carving tool path So I've got to say I'm uh, kind of pleasantly surprised. This makes the Vectric software and CNC routing a much easier entry point for, for newbies who just want to start off with some cool projects like this. So when this is done, we're going to paint it up and see how it looks. But we can already see that this thing is looking good. Boy, my skepticism uh, was totally wrong. Check out how it's picking up the details of this picture. Here, take a look. So it's picking up all these details. I've still got a little ways to go. 
Man, I was skeptical, but this is actually turning out pretty well. I didn't have my masking pressed down. I just whipped this board together real quick because I wanted to see if this would work. So you can see it's pulling up some of my masking there. What is this thing doing? I can say for the complexity of this image that it is staying fairly efficient in the tool path. Big carbs are so cool. So at this point, what I'm gonna say is, if you're thinking about getting into CNC routers and you know nothing about it, this little feature in the V12 vector software, this will make a really easy point of entry for you because the software is doing most of the work for you, creating the tool path just from an image. There are a couple of, uh, or one little drawback that I see on this, and that is it took the outer boundary of the image I'm gonna go back to the 2D version, 2D view. It took the outer boundary of the image and it actually created a line around the outer boundary, which there's, there's no boundary there. So that I don't think it would have, uh, it should have done. But even so, this makes a very nice, easy entry point for anyone who wants to get into this. Now I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed. Now this is just MDF, right? It's an old piece I had laying around. I just whipped it up real quick, but we're gonna paint this up black and then peel the ore mask away. As I'm letting it dry, we're gonna go ahead and get back in here, see if we can do a picture. <laughs> this is very, very cool. What I'm gonna do is import a picture into the Vectric software, the version 12, a picture of me, and we'll see how this works out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to the the drawing side, I'm going to delete that image and we're going to import another image. Let's just bring in a different bitmap and we got a picture of, let's see, where's a good picture of me? There we go. So we got me and it actually looks like it immediately is starting to carve around me. Uh, that tool path must be open, that's why. So we're going to switch back over. And sure enough, it's open, it's set down to nothing. So I'm gonna just bring it up a bit and you see that it's starting to work on the image. So, ooh, that's heavy. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and a little bit more because that outline around me is pretty intense. I'm gonna calculate this. It's gonna take a moment for the software to calculate it. And let's see what this might look like. My, oh my, it's taking a little bit. Okay, so we're going to reset the preview and preview the selected tool path. And look at that. Not the greatest, um, but it works. So that was very, very quick, especially with this more basic drawing. So it, clearly it works with the black and white better than it works with color. But this is the uh, sketch carving toolpath in the Vectric software. If you're thinking about getting into CNC router, this little feature will make your entry into this really easy to start carving projects and then you can work your way up from there. So you can bring in any kind of black and white image. Uh, we'll just try to bring in one more just to see if I can find one on my computer. We're going to do uh, go back to 2D view. I'm going to delete the image of me. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to just going to search for something like, oh, there's a flower. So this is a project I made for my girlfriend um, some time ago. And so there's the flower. i got to delete that picture of me. I'm going to just let it rock and roll with that. And we're going to go back in that tool path, select the image, and look at the, look at the, what it's going to carve, so all the green is what it's going to carve. Let's bring that down. Let's see if we can get some finer detail out of it. Bring it down some more. I want to just get a really fine carve. We're going to calculate, let it carve, uh, calculate all this out. And it's done. We're going to reset the tool path and preview this one. Now you see it created a boundary around it and it also created the, the flower 
and very fine lines. So this is super, super cool. Uh, the machine I use is the Long Mill MK2 CNC router. I've got a video on that, a deep dive video on this machine. And I've got a video you might want to watch. It's called the Ultimate Buyer's Guide. So you can really get a good foundation of what you want to, uh, what you need to look for in CNC routers. Anyway, let's peel this stuff away and see how this thing looks. Okay, I am incredibly surprised that the Vectrix software can do this. And it really picked up the detail. Even with my crappy preparation and crappy scraping away, we got the engine details, you got the steering wheel, uh, the, look, the little things around the foot, uh, these little marks indicating that the car is moving. And this took about 20 minutes to carve. I'm definitely impressed.